there seem to be some risk factors for developing long COVID, but again, as you said before, it's more than one disease. What do we know about risk factors? I like to classify long COVID into maybe two types. You know, the prototypical long COVID, you know, the, the, the fatigue, brain fog, post-exertional malaise, POTS. Those tend to happen, you know, m more in, in females, in younger, younger people than older adults. So, so that's sort of the, the prototypical type of long COVID. The other types that involve, you know, kidney dysfunction, you answer diabetes, heart disease, strokes, those are actually happening in older adults in the post-acute phase of the disease and in people who have existing comorbidities or existing uh, risk factors for those diseases, for heart attacks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I think the one unifying thread you know, for all of this, and actually in almost all the literature that you read, is that severity of acute disease really, really matters. The more severe the disease in the acute phase, required hospitalization or even worse, required ICU stay, those people tend to be at the highest risk of post-viral problems.